Hello, my name is James Crooks, and I do all I can to help save endangered apes and monkeys. This video is to introduce you and your rare class over a group to a project that I began called 1000 Classrooms. It costs very little, but it can help in so many ways. It helps endangered rare gorillas and the people that live close to them, as well as protecting valuable rainforest, which is where gorillas live, as well as some other animals. The website is 1000classrooms.org, and I hope that you can get involved. I know that to help threatened animals, we have to help the people that live close to them, and if we want to save the planet and the animals, kids must get involved. Now my friend Jess is going to tell you a bit more about eight in the 1000 Classrooms project. Go ahead, Jess. Thanks, Jane. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about apes. Apes are our closest living relatives. Some share close to 99% of the same DNA with humans. Some people think that apes and monkeys are the same, but they're actually different. Some differences are that apes are usually bigger than monkeys, and apes don't have tails. But many species of apes are endangered, many critically, and we must act now to protect them. James began a website called apeware.org to inform people about apes and to help save apes. The website has lots of information about apes and also has links to lots of fun ape-related activities, like puzzles, games, quizzes, and videos. Please visit it if you're interested in learning more about them. Now I'll tell you a little bit about each type of ape. Apes are divided into two groups, lesser apes, great apes. The lesser apes include all the species of gibbons, including siamangs. Gibbons live in Asia and are endangered because of the loss of their habitat. There are five species of great apes, gorillas, orangutans, chimpanzees, bonobos, and humans. Gorillas are the largest ape and live only in Africa. They're very endangered, and in some subspecies, there are only a few hundred left alive. Orangutans live in Asia, and they have two subspecies, the Sumatran orangutan and the Bornean orangutan. Both are critically endangered. In fact, if you put every orangutan in the wild in a seat at a professional football stadium, they wouldn't fill all the seats. In some stadiums, not even half the seats would be filled. Chimpanzees live in Africa, and are also endangered. Some people don't know that chimpanzees are endangered because they see them in movies and TV shows. But chimps and their habitat need our protection too, and it's actually very bad for chimps when they're used for entertainment. Bonobos are the apes that are closest to humans, even though many people don't know about them. They only live in one country in Africa, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and their homeland has been involved in a horrible war over, for over a decade. Bonobos live very peacefully in large groups, and we could learn a lot from them. The final group of apes is human beings. Humans are the only great ape whose population is increasing. We have a responsibility to do all we can to ensure that other species of apes do not become extinct. Now I want to tell you about one project you can get involved with that helps protect apes. 1000 Classrooms is a project that helps gorillas as well as the people who live near them and helps protect valuable African rainforest. As I already mentioned, gorillas are extremely endangered and need our help to make sure they're safe from hunting and disease and that their habitat isn't destroyed. Some people think gorillas are mean and vicious, like in the movies, such as King Kong. But actually, gorillas are very peaceful and vegetarian and would only hurt humans if they felt threatened. Gorillas are actually very social and their babies love to play. Gorillas are big but extremely gentle. Now I want to tell you a little bit about the situation in Africa, where the gorillas were helping live. The eastern lowland gorillas live in a national park, and rangers protect them and make sure their habitat is safe. Keuzi Biega School was built near the national park so that rangers and their families could be together while the rangers work. Children at the school are taught the same things we're taught, but they also learn about taking care of the environment and protecting gorillas. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, children often grow up to have the same jobs as their parents, so these kids will probably grow up to protect gorillas too. Sadly, many park rangers have been killed by poachers who want to hunt gorillas, and by refugees who want to move into the land and hunt the apes for food. 
Often this is the only food they can get, and the only suitable place they can find to live. When the rangers are killed, they leave behind their wives and children. The families don't have enough money, and the children don't have enough food. The widows need a way to make money to support themselves and their families. And the children can't study well if they don't have healthy food to eat. There's an expression in this village that says, an empty stomach has no ears, which means without food, children can't listen to what their teachers have to say. The solution? Build a hen house so the widows can raise chickens, and when the ch chickens lay eggs, they can sell them. School 1000 Classrooms works with is, the eastern, is in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where war, disease, and poverty have killed millions over the past decade. Here's the DRC in the center of Africa, and this is where the school is. The Eggs for Kids program was started by the Canadian Ape Alliance, a great charity that helps apes and people who live near them in many ways. The Ape Alliance provided funds to build the hen houses and buy the chickens, and now the widows sell eggs so they can make that money. The Canadian Ape Alliance buys some of those eggs and donates them to the environmental school. They try to give one egg each day to each student and teacher. They cook those eggs on brand new fuel-efficient stoves. Because the stoves don't use that much fuel, fewer trees from the forest are cut down and less pollution is created. Through this program, widows make money, children get healthy food, and they will grow up to protect the gorillas. If the people of this area have food and money, they won't need to hunt gorillas, and they won't need to move into their habitat. When eggs are sold at such a low price, we hope everyone in the area can buy them and have a healthy diet. People and gorillas can both thrive. Now I'd like to talk to you about how James's Project 1000 Classrooms works and how you can get involved. We're trying to get 1,000 different classrooms to, or groups, such as cubs, brownies, or camp groups, to donate only $3 to buy a dozen eggs. The profits from selling the eggs will give poor widows and their families a source of income, and the students at the environmental school will get nutritious food. And by doing all of this, the gorillas are also being protected. Classrooms and groups often give more than $3. Some have even donated even 100 There's no limit on how much you can donate, but each person only needs to donate 25 cents. We've already raised thousands of dollars, but we still need to raise much more if we're going to save the gorillas. Each classroom and group that participates is mentioned on the 1000 Classrooms website on the Honor Roll page. 1000 Classrooms helps widows, kids, and gorillas, and helps protect valuable rainforest. When kids learn they can get involved, they can make a big difference. Dr. Jane Goodall, who has dedicated her life to helping apes in the environment, once said, It's not that children can make change, they are making change. You too can help change the world. This is a photo of Dr. Goodall with James, the founder of 1000 Classrooms. I really hope your class or group can get involved and that you can encourage others to help as well. Please visit the 1000 Classrooms website at www.1000classrooms.org and the ApeWare site at www.apeware.org for lots of information and fun stuff about apes. Thanks for watching, and now here are a few more words from Jane. I hope that you can get lower in class or your group involved in the 1000 Classrooms project. I, and please tell all teachers, students, and animal lovers about the project. Together, we can make a difference and save the gorillas. Please visit both of the websites, and if you've got any questions or comments, just email me. You can also sign the guest book and was one from each website. Thank you to everyone that has helped with this video and everyone that has helped save apes and the planet. And thank you for watching this.